can't keep up. I can't, I'm gonna lose my mind. It's not a big deal, it's just a mess, but it's enough to throw me over the edge. I literally just spilt my drink everywhere, and now it's, it's gonna be sticky. And it's gonna take me at least 45 minutes to like scrub. I already have to scrub and clean the kitchen. Oh, not the whole kitchen, just my mess that I make. I'm gonna lose it. We are getting ready for a very fun weekend. Calvin is getting baptized and we could have easily changed the date, but we have family flying in and so we were not gonna change the date. We're still gonna have the baptism this weekend even though Jared just got his hip replacement done. So that's a little wild. I have had the kids helping me all week. They've been doing some yard work, chores. They just brought up a bunch of sheets upstairs to put on the beds and I I still feel like very overwhelmed, even with the kids helping while Jared's in surgery. We're just using paper products. I know it's not what everyone wants to see online. It's like, don't use those, but it's that or my sanity. Oh yeah, I can't. I can hardly keep up as is, so. Baby's gonna wake up any minute. I just made the kids German pancakes. I'm gonna clean up my juice mess. <laughs> I have sent the kids in the backyard to eat their breakfast, play with the dogs. Baby June is still asleep. I think it's almost nine. And Jared and I have a fun, hacked day today. He is getting out of bed. We are going to do our adventures today. And usually I help Jared get ready. Today he's able to do it on his own. And I was a little sad. I felt like he kind of lost his personality the first week of his surgery. He was just really blue in bed. I just let him rest a lot. I left the house a lot. And here I am yelling, stop doing the floss in the shower, Jared. Stop dancing. He is like flossing and thinking he's so cool. Stop I'm it. <laughs> you are going to injure yourself. Other than the juice spill, I think we are off to a good day. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> Did you sleep until nine? How are you? You must be so hungry. It's nine o'clock. It's two hours past feeding. Good morning to you. Oh, I love my morning snuggles from my little baby girl. Oh, he did? Yeah. Were you playing at first and then he got rough? And he just choked me. I'm sorry. Where's Dad? He's brushing his teeth. Well, now I know why she slept till nine. I think she has what Tommy has, a little cough. Baby girl. You seem happy, but she's stuffy and she's got a cough. Okay, Jer Bear, how you feeling? Well, <laughs> these are the clothes you got me. This is the first day you're like up and at them and... Hello, built. We love a good built outfit. You look really handsome. Leave this those tags on, let people know you're new. Your hip is new, your I spirits new. are new. <laughs> I feel new. In fact, I'm gonna do my exercises and we're gonna talk all about it. Okay. Speaking of feeling new, Today is one of the first days that I feel like super good. Yeah, I still feel surgery pain and everything, but every morning is like really, really hard for me to wake up and get out of bed and start moving. I'm supposed to be getting up like every hour and getting some movement in, and it's been really difficult for me to do. But today, I got up, got out of bed really quick. I've been super independent. I showered by myself, I got dressed by myself, and Ellie has been super helpful with that every other day. As you probably saw from Instagram, like day Days three, four, and five were super hard. Like the hardest days, even compared to days one and two. But something just clicked. Something just turned over on days six and seven where I feel like every single day is getting a little bit better. And I feel like this is a really big turning point, a huge monumental turning point for me in my recovery. And in fact, when my physical therapist was here yesterday, he's like, all right, you graduated. I was like, graduated, what do you mean? He said, I want you to be done with the walker, and I want you to get a cane. Yep, I'm graduating from the old man walker to the old man cane. We 
you've got to find the canes. And when I looked online, they had a huge variety. So finding the perfect cane for me is a pretty big deal. Let's go take a look. How come I thought they were going to be wood? <laughs> oh, why have wood when you can have cheetah print? <laughs> I thought they were going to be wood for some reason. <laughs> I think I found the one. <laughs> This one looks nice because it can fold, like travel size. That's nice. Not only does it fold, but it has like three on the base, so it's like more stable. Oh, but look at this. That's really nice. So it's adjustable. And it has an extra handle. Oh, that actually. Well, since I got the new ride, I thought I would walk out with it. I'm using the cane right now. Oh, it's definitely gonna take some getting used to. I am a little slow with it, but I think this is gonna help my mobility so much. And I'm officially graduated from the walker. Jackson is putting the walker away in the trunk. Bye bye. And I can tell that I should probably take it a little bit easier today as I walk and get used to it. But I really like this cane because it has like the extra handle on it in case I need like extra support as I transfer from car to chair or whatever. All right, on to our next destination. We are home and I had a package at the door that I'm really, really excited about. It deals all about recovery with my hip and I think it's gonna make nighttime all the more better. Nighttime hasn't been too bad for me as a whole except for the first couple nights. But when you're sleeping, you're not really able to do anything for your recovery and that can be a problem. That's like eight hours where, you know, if you could be doing something, that would be awesome. Enter Game Ready. This little device right here, well, it's not very little, is full of ice and water, and it connects through this hose, goes all the way down here into this, which is a hip pad. It pumps cold water through that hose and through that hip pad, and also compresses my leg. Now I've been doing something similar to this with that little machine right there, and it's been fine. It doesn't get the temperature that I would really like, and it doesn't do compression, but it's been nice. The other downside about that blue ice machine is that it only does one segment at a time. I can only let it run for like 20, 40, or 60 minutes, and then it turns off and makes a really loud beeping sound afterwards. So if the baby's asleep, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. This machine will go in intervals. So I can have it go 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off, all through the night. So my leg is getting that ice and compression all night long. I just got it today and I think it's going to be really, really nice for my recovery, especially as I switch to the cane because I can tell that working with a cane is gonna be a little bit more difficult than I thought today, because I can tell that the cane is gonna be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Well, we drove two houses down. <sighs> it's not so much the, the pain of being able to get out of the car, it's like my quad tightness. It literally feels like there's just no muscle there. But I wanted to show you, so this is my cane, and you're probably wondering what the second handle is. Well, when i getting into the car, this is kind of like an awkward position. So they have the second handle, so you can use that as like your support. Stability, I like it. Yeah, so it's another handle for that, but I really like this cane. It's it's light, it's good, and I think I'm adjusting to it a lot faster than I thought I would going from the walker. So, watch out. I'm Kane in front for you? I don't know. Who's ready to watch Ted Lasso? Season finale, series finale. I love Ted Lasso. Good job, Jack. She, you were tickling. My turn, she's never done that. That's so cute. Before you sit down, what? will you go get my ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> so one thing that's been interesting with my hip surgery is our whole anti-inflammatory diet has just kind of gone out the window. Ellie's been better than I have, but I don't know. I think it's been really, really nice to have a little break to not think about it so much. So. We have ice cream that I'm going to be eating and we're at Jonathan and Susan's house and we're gonna watch the last episode of Ted Lasso. I am so excited. I am too. I think we watched one of the very first episodes of Ted Lasso with you guys. 
This is like a very fitting end. end. Yeah, that's gonna be it from us. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye. Say bye, June.